How's it going, everybody? My name is Nick, and I am your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers. I am a uh, sub-in coach for a team that was in this NAND league. Uh, they were they dropped from the league, so I came in, made tons of transactions, and we're coming in week three against Coach uh, Edward and his Winter Haven Wink Wiggly Tufts. Edward's team consists of Faramosa, Ferrothorn, Tapu Lele, Skarmory, Rotom Heat, Umbreon, Vaporeon, Skuntank, Rhydon, and Herdier. Um, looking for a good match. I'm going to run down the team that I have brought this week real quick. We have brought Sandman, the Zy uh, Zygarde with Power Construct, Leftovers, Thousand Arrows, Substitute Glare, Dragon Dance, um, pretty much... Uh, max HP, max attack, adamant. Don't remember what the Spadef investment was there for, but it is there for a reason. Next up, we have Carnage the Victini with Assault Vest, Victory Star, of course. Searing Shot, Flame Charge, Charge Beam, and Focus Blast. After a Flame Charge, we are faster than Non Scarf Faramosa. As well, as I think it's maybe if we have. Uh... No, we're faster than Non Scarf Faramosa. And then we'll, we also have Sticky Webs on the team to help with that later on. Next up is Pandamania, the Pangoro, Choice Banded, Mold Breaker, Drain Punch, Bullet Front, Earthquake, and a Parting Shot. Max HP, Max Attack, nothing too special. Then we have Electro, the Zero Aura, Life Orb, Volt Absorb, Volt Switch, Drain Punch, Knock Off, and a Grass Knot. Grass Knot is to hit right on in case it comes. Volt Switch, Drain Punch, and Knock Off pretty much take care of the rest of the team. No speed investment because we outspeed everything minus Faramosa, which we outspeed once we get Sticky Webs up. And here comes our Sticky Webber in Venom, the Araquanid, with Focus Sash and Water Bubble. Sticky Web, Le Liquidation, Leech Life, and Magic Coat. Liquidation, Leech Life are pretty standard um, just to get some health back and hit things hard. Magic Coat is there in case he wants to lead something that can set hazards. I can just click that. Instead of Sticky Webs, turn one, and we can get those hazards up on his side of the field instead. And last but not least is the other team's mascot in Rose, the Wigglytuff with Leftovers. And Frisk. Frisk is an amazing draft league ability, so I can find out my opponent's items. We have Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Protect, and Stockpile so that we can be super bulky and just get some uh, Leftovers healing uh, with Protect. I'm going to... I don't really, I didn't really like mark down what I thought he would bring. Um, I think it's going to be Faramosa, Tapu Lele, Vaporeon, Skarmory, Rotom Heat, and then Rhydon or Skuntank probably if I had to guess. We're going to try to get connected here with him real quick and then get this match on the way. All right, that was quick. Uh, we did get connected with him. And he did opt for the Pharaoh Thorn. Let me turn that battle timer off. He did opt for the Pharaoh Thorn, Tapu Lele, Rotom Heat, Skuntank, Pheromosa, and Vaporeon. So we got all of those, so no ride on. Um, let's say good luck, have fun. And we're starting off things with Arach Venom the Araquanid, of course. As he goes Skuntank. Let's just go ahead and get up sticky. Okay, so he's going to taunt. We're going to li liquidate anything that wants to come in now. Probably throws in Ferrothorn if I had to guess. Uh, we're going to do our best not to hit that cancel button. It's a oh, look at there. A uh, poison jab. Um, poison right off the bat. That's cool. I had a couple of those in my match this week. Um... Let's see. I think we're good, and we can just go out into Sandman here. We'll throw up a substitute, try to get off a of Dragon Dance, and then go from there. As he goes out into Ferrothorn, we can sub here. Let's see, uh, 
Do I want to Dragon Dance up or Claire? We'll Dragon Dance up. He did not break with his knockoff, which I think that's what I had EV'd for, to be honest with you. Glare here. Substitute again. Let's see. What is... Yep, that's what we wanted. Scald is there's a chance that it doesn't break our sub so we're going to drag and dance up here there's the there's the low roll cool we can drag and dance up here for a third time and nothing on his team is going to outspeed as soon as we get to the point where we can uh, one shot the Vaporeon, I think we're good. Okay, so he does decide to switch out. Um, there's no way that this is living. Absolutely no way. So we are at, yeah, we're at plus three, plus three. We'll just go for a thousand arrows here. Let <laughs> me say a little late on the GLHF, but okay. And that's one kill for Zygarde on the season. Go for another thousand arrows. Two kills for Zygarde. It should just be a clean sweep here. Um, go for the thousand arrows. Have him break our sub. Go for the thousand arrows again. Three kills for Zygarde. Faramosa comes in. And I wonder if it's Sash. Um, let's go for the Thousand Arrows, see if it's Sash. It's not. <laughs> Four kills for Zygarde. This should definitely kill a Pharaoh Thorn. No, okay. Uh, we'll substitute in front of it because he goes for gyro ball. We can dragon dance here. So we are at plus four now, right? Right. And a thousand arrows as we get the crit. I think that mattered if it was offensive. Five kills for Zygarde. As he goes out into Rotom Heat as his last Mon. And Thousand Arrows will pick it up. Six kills. 6 0 for Zygarde. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Zygarde's a powerhouse, especially if you don't know, uh, if you don't bring anything to stop it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, that was the plan is bulky Zygarde, sub up, Dragon Dance, and just start launching Thousand Arrows into his team. But yeah, guys, that's week one, or sorry, week three of the NAND that puts us at two and one, I think, and with a pretty hefty differential. So yeah, um, like I said, my name's Nick. I'm your coach of the Philadelphia Pincers, and I'll be back at you next week. See you guys.